Because this video is so long, you can click on the part of the bonnet you need help with and it will take you right there in the video on how to make that part. If you're just starting, then just keep on watching. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how we start constructing this hat. So what we first do is we're going to cast on here and here. So this is like a double layer, makes it really thick band. And you're going to use the magic loop method or double pointed needles. And we're going to start here and go all the way up to here. Then you bind off. And then we will pick up stitches along this side. Okay. And then we start knitting the body of the hat. And then we decrease. And then, then we make the garter border. So we pick up all these stitches. And then we knit the garter border. And then we make these cute little tassels. And of course, if you want to make a pom-pom, that's what we do last. The materials that I'm using are size 4 worsted weight yarn, 220 to 440 yards, depending on what size you're making. Size US 7 circular needles, you need the smaller size 16 inch, and the 24 inch if you're going to do the magic loop method. If you're not, then you need to have size US 7 double pointed needles. And you already need at least one size 7 double pointed needle. A tapestry needle, you'll need a hair bobbin to help you put on your or twisty ties, some scissors, and a stitch marker. What we first need to do is grab our yarn and make a slip knot. So you just twist it and the one that's underneath you grab it and you pull it. And then you get your needle, put it on your needle and tighten your yarn. And now we need to cast on 38. So I hold my yarn with these three fingers and then I get my pointer finger and thumb and just kind of spread those two strands out. And then I get my needle and I come over here and pick up this yarn, come around this side, go through the middle and pull it off. Okay. And if you need more help, click on this video. Okay, so I'll just cast on 38. Okay, so we are going to be knitting in the round and my smallest cable was too small so I have a larger cable so that I can do the magic loop method. If you have double pointed needles, then you can do it that way. The first 20 stitches will be for the cable. So I'm going to count 20. And that's how I will divide it up. And then I just put these kind of in the middle and, and separate them. So it looks like this. Okay, so we are going to follow chart A1 for however many it says, depending on what size you're going to make. So let's just start with row one. And we're first going to do a purl. So when we purl, our yarn needs to be down here. With the knit, I put it up here when I'm doing the magic loop method. So we're going to purl one. Okay, and then the next one, we're doing a left twist. There are two ways to do the LT and RT. I'm about to show you how to do it the first way, and I will show you how to do it the second way when we knit row three. So with the left twist, you're skipping your first stitch right now and you're going to go through your second stitch through the back, just like that. And then 
here we go. And then come through like that. And you're going to come around through the front. And you're going to knit your first stitch. And then you pull. And then both of them come off. Okay? And see you have those two stitches there. And then we're going to do a right twist. We go to our second stitch. And then you knit it. And then you come back up like that. And then you knit your first stitch just like you normally would. There we go. And then come up and then pull both of those stitches off. So that's left twist and right twist. And then we purl. And then we're going to knit the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we purl one. Go through here, our second stitch. Okay, come through the front and knit this first stitch and then pull them both off. And then whew. Go through the second stitch there. Sorry, the first round is always the hardest. And then take those off. Purl. Woohoo! Now, let me flip this over. Okay, and then for the rest of the stitches, you were just knitting. It's all stuck in it. So, my yarn is in the back. And then you pull your needle. And you go from the front to the back. Grab your yarn. And knit. Clean it all the way to the end of the round. Alright, now that we got the hardest round done, row two, which is like the easiest one we're going to do, is we purl. And then we knit the next four. Purl one. And then we're going to knit eight again.
And then we purl one, knit four, and purl one. And then, just like always, we are going to knit our last 18 stitches. Okay, it's looking good so far. All right, so there are two ways to do the left twist and right twist. So if you wanna do it the way I just showed you, then great. But you can do it with a double pointed needle or this little cable holder. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with this and you can decide which one you like better. So we are on row three and we are going to purl. Okay, and then, so when we do right twist, we are going to slip our first stitch off, and we hold it in the back. And then we knit this stitch. And then you can either knit it off of the cable holder or double pointing needle, whatever you have, or I just like to slide mine back on Okay, and then we're doing a left twist, so you slip one stitch onto the double pointed needle. And then we're going to hold it in the front. And then we knit this second stitch. And then we knit this stitch. Okay, so you can do whichever one you like. I kind of like it that way better. Okay, and then we purl one. And then we're going to do a cable four back, a C4B. So what we do is we slip our first two stitches. And then we hold them in the back. And then we knit two. And then we knit the two that are on our cable needle. All right, and then we're going to be doing cable front. And so we grab our first two stitches and you guessed it, we're gonna hold it in the front. All right. And then knit these two. And then we purl one. And then do our right twist, which is slipping the stitch. Holding it in the back. Get our yarn in the back because it has to be in the back to knit. And then knit this one. Then for our left twist, we hold it in the front. Knit our second stitch. Knit this stitch and purl one. All right. So now I have showed you how to do all of chart A1. You really just follow the chart and I showed you how to do the cable front, the cable back, left twist, right twist. So keep on doing chart A1. 
for 54 rounds, which is doing chart A1 four and a half times. Okay, so this is what mine looks like, and I just finished chart A. Here's my back. So now we need to start chart A2 or A3. So A2 is if you're doing the large child and the large adult. Chart A3 is for the small child and small adult. So I'm doing chart A3. But I mean, it's all basically the same thing. So if you're doing the large child and large adult size, this will still help you out. And it's basically the same thing as chart A1, except that our cables are going to be going the opposite way because this is going around our forehead. Okay, so for round one, we're going to be doing the right twist. For the A2, you're doing the left twist. So with the right twist, you are going to hold in the back. And then we're going to do a left twist and we hold it in the front. All right, so this is basically the exact same thing that we did in chart A1. I will have you to finish row one and do row two, and I'll meet you at row three when we do the cable in the middle. Okay, so let's start row three. We're doing a left twist, right twist. So we're going to do, have our cable stitch in the front and then back, and then when we do our cable in here is going to be front back. So front back, front back, front back. That's a little bit easier than remembering left twist and right twist for me. So front. Then back. Pearl. And then. So remember how we would always do the cable back first? Now we're just switching it up and doing the cable front. So we put two stitches on there and then we knit two that are on our needle. And then we knit these two that we put on our little cable holder. And then we do we put these in the back. So I'm sorry, I hope some of you guys aren't frustrated that I'm not showing you every single row, but I mean, that would just make this super long and I've already showed you how to do each row. So yay, I hope I made it a little easy for you to understand charts so you're not completely lost. Okay, and finish this row up with the left twist, right twist, or front. And back. Okay, 
So, ooh, I almost knitted that. So now just make sure you repeat these rows 1 through 12, however long you need to. Okay, I will see you at the end when we are ready to bind off. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it's supposed to look like. It's so neat. I love that it made a little circle. Oh, I'm so excited to finish. Okay? Alright. Have fun. Yay! We're done! This is what the back looks like. Awesome! So, let's bind off. Okay, so when I bind off, I'm just going to do all knits. So don't worry about the purl. So our yarn's in the back. You need to knit two. And then you pick up your first stitch and you bring it over your second stitch and off of the needle. So now we have one. Let's knit another stitch. So we have two on our right needle. Pick up our first stitch, bring it over our second one. Okay. So you just keep on doing this. Okay, so with your last stitch, you just pull it out and cut it and then pull the remaining out and you're done okay okay and now we're supposed to be picking up stitches like this so you have your right side facing you and um, you just start on either side and then this is what it's supposed to look like you're supposed to have like a V band showing okay so I'm going through, so you leave these two, and then I'm just going through the next stitch. And that's how I pick up a stitch. So let's go through the next one. And I'll show you how to start it, but I just wanted to show you what it is looking like. Ooh. Okay, so that's how you pick up stitches and you want to go all the way to the end. Um, if you pick up every single stitch, then you'll have five left over at the end. So once you knit like 20 of them, then skip a stitch and then knit 20 more, skip a stitch, and then that will help it distribute it evenly. Okay, so let's just take this off. Okay, so I want these two still be visible, so I'm going to go through the next one. Okay, so I make a loop with my yarn. My needle is through the stitch. I put my loop over my needle, then I just kind of go through like that. Okay, now let's do the next one. Go through the next stitch. And then leave your tail and get your strand of yarn and you just go through like that. Okay, so pick up stitches. Okay. So this is what mine looks like to here. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to be working on the wrong side and we are working flat, which means we're not going to join it around and knit in a circle like we did for this band. 
Now, the tricky part is that it wants us to decrease evenly, and it doesn't say like when or anything, but I'll tell you how. For the smaller adult size, you're supposed to decrease evenly 12 stitches, so you have to do it, you knit six and then knit two together, knit seven, knit two together, knit six, knit two together, knit seven, knit two together, except in the chart for row one, you're, okay, let's just start. So you knit two, and then we're going to repeat purl two and knit two until the end. So we purl two, and then we knit two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and so now it's time to decrease. So purl two, knit two, so I'm going to be purling. So I'm going to purl two together. And this counts as one. So I purl one. Except it was a purl two together, right? So I purl two together, but it counts as a purl one. And so we need to purl another one, right? And this counts as one. It might be easier to have stitch markers and put them in where you're supposed to decrease. But anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I decreased. So now I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it's time for me to decrease again. And it's another purl. So I purl two together. Okay, does that make sense? So I need to do another purl. This is my one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and this is when I need to decrease. So I'm going to knit two together. That's how you decrease evenly. Okay. Okay, so here's my last one. And it's a seven. one is knit two together. Yay! Okay, now we need to flip it over. So now that we've done the row one, it says work rows two through either 14, 16, 18, or 20, but in my case work rows two through 18 and pattern following chart B. And then after that, we will cast on some stitches and join and we'll start knitting in the round. Okay. So let's go to our chart B and you can either look at the chart or you can, it has written directions, which is kind of nice. And rows two through five, all you do is you continue knitting in the two by two rib and it's already established for you. So you if you, when you see these bumps, that means you're supposed to purl. And then these V's mean knit. So we purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two. Okay? So that's how you know which one to do by the bumps. If I see a bump under there, then that means we're supposed to purl it. And then let me show you.
Okay, and let's pretend that I finished this whole row and I'm going to flip it over and this is what this one will look like. So, pearls, knit, pearl, and knit. Okay? So, go ahead and do rows two through five. All right. Yay. Now, let's do row six. We pearl two. Now you get your double pointed needle, and then you're going to knit two, purl two. And then knit two. Then you wrap your yarn around. your stitches twice and then you slip them back onto your right needle okay and then you purl two and then you repeat where the asterisk starts. So again, grab your double pointed needle and do your next six stitches on your double pointed needle. Knit two, purl two, knit two. Here's my knit two. And then you just wrap the yarn around once and twice. And I would try to wrap it around the same tightness <laughs> as all of them, as your first one, okay? So they look the same. And then take these off. And then you purl two. So then you just keep repeating this all the way to the end of the row. Okay. This is what my row six looks like. Now we turn it over. And for rows 7 through 11, you're just going to continue in the um, rib, the 2x2, two two, knit 2, purl 2, or purl 2, knit 2. So I just knitted 2, and then these might be a little tight, but you can do it. Purl 2. We just start by purling we purl two and knit two on our double pointed needle. Okay, oh my. Okay, so we purl two, knit two on our double pointed needle, and then you're going to Wrap the yarn around it twice, and then we slide it onto our right needle. Okay, purl two. Okay, and then this is what we're going to be repeating all the way to the end with our double pointed needle we need to knit two purl two 
Pearl 2. Knit 2. And then same as our row 6, just wrap it around twice. And then slide them onto our right needle. And then purl two. And then um, you will have four stitches left over at the very end. And it's the same thing as what we did in the very beginning. You will knit two and purl two on your double pointed needle. And then you wrap your yarn around those four stitches twice. Slip the four stitches back on your right needle. Okay. Okay, I just finished my row six. Now it's time. It says to cast on six stitches. Okay, so what I do is, here we go. I kind of make a loop right there, you see? And then I slide it on, okay? Two. Three, four, five, six. And then we're supposed to join. Okay, so our cast on stitches are on our right needle. Grab our stitch marker so we know where the beginning of the round is. And we just keep on going with our chart. B. And these are, and so we will be purling So we do that two by two rib, the purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, all the way to the end of the round, and you include your new six stitches. Okay, so I am at my row 12. And since we cast on these six stitches, okay, so what you're supposed to do at the very beginning is um, put your first four stitches on your double pointed needle and wrap them up, right? And then the rest are six. And you're supposed to have that at the end, I have four of them, but you have six here and there's not enough. And then you purl these two and there's not enough for four. It will look really weird if we keep these knit two stitches and they're not wrapped. So we're just going to wrap two of them. And it will look better because I tried it without um, wrapping them and it just, it just doesn't look right. So trust me and wrap them. Okay, now let's start our row one and then we are going to be starting the decrease rounds. Okay. Okay. Now our decrease rounds. So for round one, we purl two together. So instead of just going through one, we're gonna go through both of them like that. Bring your yarn around and pull it off. Purl two together and then we do a knit two, purl two, knit two. And then you repeat that. Purl two together, knit two, purl two, knit two. Okay? All 
right okay so round five i wanted to show you because they don't really explain anything except to wrap around five stitches um you purl your first one and then you go ahead and wrap five so we're gonna do one two three four five right because we need two knits a purl and two knits and then we purl this one and then you wrap those five around okay so we purled our first stitch One, two, three, four, five. Wrap them around. And then put them on your right needle. Okay, and then just repeat this all the way to the end of the round. Okay, now for round six, we purl one. And then we knit one. And then we slip one as if we're going to knit. So pretend we're knitting it, right? We just slip it off onto our right needle and then we knit two together. And then the PSSO is pass your slip stitch over and off. Just like that. And then knit one. And then you just keep repeating that until the end of the row. We'll do it one more time. Purl one. Knit one. Slip one as if to knit. Knit two together. And then you pass your slip stitch over and off. Okay, and we might need to change to our larger cable soon so that we can um, use the magic loop method or you can use your double pointed needles to finish off. All right, last row, we knit two together all the way to the end of the round. Now, we get your scissors, cut, then put your yarn through your needle, and then we put it through our remaining stitches. Kind of cut mine a little short. Okay. Okay, and pull it and tie a knot. And then I put the yarn through the inside. So it looks like that. Slip it over and then you weave in the ends. Okay. Awesome. This is the bottom. Okay, so when we're picking up the stitches, make sure that when you're picking up the stitches with the band, you go through both sides. So we pick up, let's see, this will be our first one, and then this one. And then you get your yarn. 
And you go through like that. And now I just kind of do it loosely. Not too tight, but not too loose. Alright, so pick up the amount of stitches that it tells you to. Remember, you're supposed to skip a few of them, or else you'll end up having like a huge gap right here. Alright. So, from here all the way to the other side. Okay, this is what mine looks like now. We are going to knit, 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 knit till 36 stitches and then we put our marker where the 36 stitches. So if you have one that you can just add, I would count 36 and then just put it on. But, so we knit, put our marker in after 36 stitches and then knit all the way to the end. So right now, I'm on the wrong side. Okay. So for even rows two through eight, we knit up until two stitches before our stitch marker, and then we slip, slip, knit. So we slip our first one off as if we knit, slip our second one off as if we knit, and then we go through both of them from the back to the front and then we knit them. And then we put our stitch marker on our right needle and then we knit two together. So we're decreasing on both sides but they're going to angle differently. So this one is going to go this way and then this side is going to go this way. Okay, and then you knit all the way to the end. Now for all odd rows, three through nine, you just knit. And then after you're done with row nine, bind off. Okay, so to make the ties, you need to have a strand as long as from one hand all the way to the other. And then, you're just going to bring that down and do another one the same length. And then, one more, so that on one side, you will have two loops. Right now, we have two loops on one side, and then on the other side, we'll have one loop and two ends. So you just cut that. You have two loops on one side, one loop, two strands. Okay, and then you can either use your toe, or you put the one that has the two loops around something that will hold it, right? And then, and then you just twist it. So just keep on twisting all the way to your end. Okay, and after I'm done twisting, you fold it in half and you just let it go and then it'll twist together. How cool is that? And then you take it off of your little hook. Okay, so here's your end pieces and you just tie a knot. All right, now let's attach this. Okay, so I already attached this one. Now let's attach the other side. So what I do is I get a bobby pin and I put it through. And then we're going to go from the outside to the inside. 
and I go in between my second and third garter ridge pull it through just a little bit and then put our end through our little loop at the top take our bobby pin out and pull on it and there you go click here to learn how to make a pom-pom I hope you had fun and enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you want to make something else with me, then here are some options. Or you can just go to my page and look at all of my other videos.